another historic day in the state of Alabama concerning marriage equality. Thanks for joining us on the News at 10. I'm Tamika Alexander. You'll remember last month's federal court ruling by U.S. District Judge Callie Grenade that finds Alabama's ban on marriage equality unconstitutional. Judge Grenade then stayed her order for 14 days to give the state time to seek a more permanent stay. WVUA's Chelsea Barton has been following the story and joins us live in our studio with more. Chelsea. Tamika, the 11th Circuit U.S. Court of Appeals in Atlanta has denied the state of Alabama's request to keep a stay in place on same-sex marriages within the state. The decision came today just six days from when Judge Grenade's 14-day stay is scheduled to be lifted. This means Monday, February 9th, could be marked in Alabama state history. Because unless the Supreme Court acts, gay people in Alabama will be able to wed just like opposite sex couples can marry starting on Monday. The state has come back to the Court of Appeals with another request to put a stay in place until the Supreme Court rules on the issue later this year. The Southern Poverty Law Center has filed a new ethics complaint against Alabama Justice Roy Moore's threat to defy the court's order if it is in favor of same-sex marriage. Every judge in every state is bound by the rulings of the United States Supreme Court. And for Justice Moore to suggest that he might not follow it is the height of arrogance. Justice Moore shouldn't be sitting as the Chief Justice of Alabama. He should step down and take a pulpit. We spoke with Senator Gerald Allen, who sponsored a piece of legislation which defines marriage as being between a man and a woman. It's just very disappointing, and uh, it tells us not only here in Alabama, but across the nation that uh, you know it's out of control. The, the family unit uh, was designed by God himself to have a mom and a dad in the family. Eight out of ten citizens voted yes to define marriage between a man and a woman. We took to the community today to see what folks have to say about the ruling. Not exactly happy about it. Um, I think that, you know, I mean, I believe in traditional marriage. You shouldn't persecute them for being that, for being gay, and I don't really agree with them being gay, but at the same time, you have to love those people. It's a sin. It's a sin. It's a sin. I think it would be great for them because living in a conservative state, it's kind of like, kind of scary maybe to come out for those individuals that are, but I think it's a great change for Alabama. It's a good day uh, for everyone in Alabama who cherishes freedom. The Supreme Court is expected to make an ultimate decision in June. Live in the studio tonight, I'm Chelsea Barton for WVUA News.